it's a kind of uh, the conclusion of several projects together and I'm uh, very happy to see you all here. Um, I want just to say that it's being said that uh, Jerusalem is the city where the past is more present, is the most present. Every street can remind us of old memories and every corner can remind us of uh, severe wounds. The question is only what we do with our future. Would we let the past determine the future? We let the problems of the present to continue and perpetuate? Or try to do something else or even envision something else for all of us? And I think when we are looking at Isawiya, which is right outside the window, that symbolizes the marginalization and disparities of today, when we remember another circle of violence of last week from Gaza, when we know about incitement that's going on all around the country, and we remember civil wars that erupt all across the region, I think we have a responsibility to try to create different relations between the communities here and to try to envision something else for uh, all of us. And I really think that it's not a dream. I think that cities have a spirit in them that brings people together, that connect between communities and forces people to think creatively about uh, their life together. I really hope that in the future um, people will remember this day to day and the policies that we developed and hopefully many projects will come up next from today. So with this idea in mind, this question in mind about the role of cities, we started a journey three years ago, almost, that combined two approaches. On the one hand, we wanted to map local perspectives and needs, we want to support local projects, and even slowly to form mixed groups that will design a vision, policy recommendations for the future of the city, and these policies will be presented today. On the other, we wanted to enrich the local discussion about the future of the city with ideas from other cities. And we organized delegations with the support of Konrad Adenauer Stiftung and the Irish Embassy to uh, other cities in center of conflicts like Belfast in Northern Ireland, Nicosia in Cyprus and Sarajevo in Bosnia. From these delegations, we learned important lessons of what can be done in the city and how the reality can be improved. And today you will see in the different panels the speakers from these other cities coming and share their experiences. Before we start, and I'll pass this uh, to Dan, um, I want to thank people that made all of this possible. First of all, the Leonard Davis Institute and Professor Damian Dovnik um, for partnering us in this project and leading the process within the different neighborhoods and in policy recommendations. I want to thank also the team, uh, Noam Brenner, Tarek Nassar specifically for uh, leading the projects uh, and the work with the communities and also taking the lead in the exhibition that we'll see later on today. I want to thank um, the Embassy of Ireland, uh, the Deputy James O'Shea and Jonathan Conlon that will be later today that supported the delegation to Belfast and even Reverend Dr. Gary Mason for helping us to lead the groups over there. I want to thank Konrad Adenauer Stiftung and the project officer uh, Doron Gilad and the Schusterman Foundation and also Lichtek Foundation that supported the, the conference of today and tomorrow. Uh, thanks again for being here and I'm very excited to start. So please, uh, Nivin and then please. Thank you.